What's up guys? How are we? And welcome back to another reaction video. The pleasure's mine. Today, we're focusing on a player by the name of Baker Mayfield. Now, as far as a quarterback goes, as far as the qualities that I like in a quarterback, he's not, the, he's not going to be the biggest. But as far as his attitude, as far as his passion, you know, he's, he's skillful, certainly skillful. Or he's, nev he's never going to be the fastest. He's never going to be the strongest. He's never going to have the biggest arm. He's going to be up there in all three categories. But like I said, when I think about Baker Mayfield as a person, the thing that comes to mind is passion, culture, confidence. He's cool, man. He is cool. He's only been in the league for a short three years, but what he's done in that time to turn the Browns around is absolutely incredible. And the best of luck to him for this upcoming season. But guys, we're here right now to focus on his 2020 season as told by his peers. And uh, with that in mind, before we do get into the video, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Manscaped. Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favourite YouTubers, and over 2 million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Anyways guys, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. We are about to hear from Jarvis Landry, one of his wide receivers. In fact, to think about who he's got on offense as weapons. He's got two absolutely epic wide receivers. He's got two absolute gun running backs. I'm not sure about the tight end situation. He's got Miles Garrett on defense. Do I know any other defenders? No, not really. So I guess we'll stop there. But as far as the offensive side of the ball, they have firepower absolutely everywhere. So I feel like the Browns, as a team, they've got the tools to do it. But a lot of that responsibility, a lot of that, a lot of those, you know, clutch moments where confidence is key, are going to rest on Baker Mayfield's six foot tall shoulders. So with all that in mind, let's continue. It's hard to really pinpoint. Uh one play. You know, I just realized you have a tiny head. We've seen that before. Funny thing about Landry is he might have a tiny head, but he's got some of the biggest hands in the league. And with those hands, he's about to throw what looks like a touchdown pass. No, it's out at the 25, but it is a catch. <laughs> it's a throw from Jarvis Landry to Baker Mayfield. And Landry's not the only wide receiver in the Browns who throws. Line. That's the kind of play that when I think about Baker Mayfield comes to mind. Flea flicker type plays, the trick plays. What a catch that chemistry that started a couple of years ago. Man, I mean he made a lot of plays. <laughs> well not there. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of play that was, but uh a lot of people call me. Not on the list last year. That's bloody tragic. A gunslinger. I mean, yeah. When that clock starts, turn into savages. Let's go. Yeah, come on here and get some. All day. All day. Ball! 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 Come on! Come on! Mayfield ah! dealing a hot hand right now. He looks so much more comfortable, doesn't he? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! 
What are you looking at? Yeah! Out of boy! Oh, I love winning. Look like he's he's cocky and arrogant when he goes out there. About 98% of the time, I'm right. Like 98.7. I like that thing, so. <laughs> well, at least you can admit when you're wrong, mate. I'm all for it. I'm going to back him up whenever. And I, I'll tell you what, man. I, I, look, I have to stop the video here. Miles Garrett, the more times I see him on screen, the bigger he looks. Look at his goddamn shoulders. He reminds me of Dwight Howard in the shoulders. But then you go down a bit and you look at Miles Garrett's arms. They're 20 inches at the very least. The last time I saw 20 inch arms at 10% body fat was on the Mr. Olympia stage. This guy's an absolute freak. He runs a 40 yard dash in less than 4.5 seconds. What? The man's arms are just about as round as they are long and they're pretty fucking long. Don't mind a bit of Miles Garrett. Whatever. The Browns drafted him and he really turned the whole franchise around. I'm on go mode right now. He showed up this year. I mean, he talks, you know, he's he's a talker. And, I, and if you... Ah, there you go. A Browns tight end. So we've got Jarvis Landry, OBJ, Nick Chubb, another running back, and David Njoku, a tight end. So there's five. Add Baker in there, that's six. Interesting. It was a lot of us. Popeye on the spinach! Ah! He's not one of those guys that get flustered. Hell no! Baker Mayfield oh. sounds confident. <laughs> way, way to stay in the pocket, man. Composed. A lot of times, quarterbacks may get down, they start getting hit, sacked. He's a guy that just just keeps, keeps going. But he's in rhythm. Tell you what, there's a few running backs out there that'd be pretty pleased with a left foot step like that. That was that that was uh, that was violently stuck in the ground. Have a look at this. He's a guy that just bang. Now, now, if your name is Lamar Jackson, you'd probably expect to see something like that most games. But I've got to give Baker Mayfield credit. Like I said at the start, he's not going to be the fastest, but he does have some pocket awareness. Just keeps, keeps going. Some real pocket he's awareness. Little, it's really hard to stop. He's just been pinpointed, especially uh, in the second half of that year, and surged the Browns into the playoffs, man. It was, uh, it was fun to watch, man. If you had a nickel for all the times people talked about Mayfield swagger, You'd be rich. But Baker makes his money by dropping dimes. And just how how many dimes, you ask? Well let's find out. Baker Mayfield. Six foot one. Sorry, mate. I uh, took an inch off you. And I know you wouldn't like that, but I'm gonna give you two more KG. So let's say six one, a hundred KG. Pick number one of the 2018 draft. And as we look down to his contract details, the Browns exercised Mayfield's fifth year contract option for the 2022 season on April 23rd, 2021. So he's in his fourth year. I assume that's putting a franchise tag on Mayfield for his fifth year. But as far as how much he got paid, he signed a four year rookie contract with the Browns on July 24th, 2018 with a deal worth $32.68 million. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair few dimes. Wonder what he spent it on. Looks almost good enough to catch. The Bengals game when we I ran like a little corner post and he threw it on the dime post Let's have a look at that and he threw it on the dime look at that <laughs> what a catch by the tight end a joker he just dropped back boom drop back boom dink and dunk all the way down the field he can just he can really eat you up nom, 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 nom. well he's one of those guys that um no matter what the stakes are he's gonna be able to seize the moment to be ready for that moment. In 2020, Mayfield led the Browns to their first playoff win since 1994. Go Landry. Touchdown, Baker Mayfield. that. Uh. What a night for Browns fans everywhere. They're putting on a show right now, and Baker was the ringleader of that. 
I like what I see guys, I do, and like I said at the start of the video, it's not about his skill, although he has it in spades, it's about his personality, it's about the culture that he brings to the team, which then brings culture to the area of Cleveland. Have I been there? No. Would I like to go there? Absolutely. I want to go to the Football Hall of Fame, which is in the same state, but not the same city, right? Cleveland is a city in Ohio. So is Columbus, which hosts the Arnold Classic. So is Canton, which hosts something else. Anyways, any Cleveland Browns fans out there, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the jersey in the background. And with all that being said, have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.